Here's how to become the world's first trillionaire. The competition to be the richest person in the world right now has been in between Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, but this could change in the future because of an industry that hasn't yet been started, which is asteroid mining. Gold, silver, palladium, platinum, and much more can be extracted from asteroids between Mars and Jupiter. For example, the asteroid 16 Psyche has enough supply of ferro-nickel for the whole world to last for millions of years. The person who starts this industry will make money like never seen before without even traveling that far, because there's valuable asteroids close to Earth, like the 162,173 Ryu which is estimated at 83 billion dollars. So far no one's been able to pull it off because taking things to space is really expensive. And the most important question is how are they going to extract the metals from the asteroids? Disney closed its water park and the reason why is scary. In 1976, Disney opened its first water park called Country River. It was one of the most popular attractions at Disney World because it had lots of water rides with slides, rivers, and a lake with a sandy bottom. Since it was located in Bay Lake, Florida, it had a unique water filtration system which kept the water clean. But in 2001, the park mysteriously closed, disappointing a lot of people. Disney announced that it was due to remodeling but years went by and it never reopened. And in 2005, they announced that it would remain closed permanently because they didn't have many visitors. Many people weren't convinced with this explanation because there were still tons of people going there. Instead, they believe the reason is due to several fatal accidents that happened over the years. One of them was an eight-year-old boy who was enjoying a ride, an amoeba from the water got in his body through his nose, and it attacked his nervous system which ended up killing him. Why making fun of this guy can get you life in prison. In Thailand, you can go to jail for 3 to 15 years if you defame, insult, threaten, or criticize the king of Thailand, his wife, and close relatives because it's illegal. The 3 to 15 years will be for each insult the person makes. Here are some examples. In 2007, a Swiss man got drunk in Thailand and spray-painted portraits of the king for fun. He was arrested and sentenced to 10 years in prison. In 2008, an Australian wrote a book about the scandalous romances of the Thai royal court. I was arrested when they arrived at the Bangkok airport during a trip to the country. Sentenced to 3 years in prison. In 2009, a a Thai woman was arrested and sentenced to 15 years in prison after giving a speech where she mentioned the royal court and they found it offensive. Finally, in 2017, a 34 year old man created 10 Facebook posts that were insulting to the royal family and he was sentenced to 70 years in prison, giving him 7 years for each post. Here's what would happen if you fell off a cruise ship. In 2018, a British lady was on the Norwegian Star cruise ship when she suddenly fell off the back. As soon as the crew found out about this, they started a search and rescue for her. They also called the authorities, who sent water patrol, an aircraft, and two rescue boats to find her. After 10 hours, they managed to find her and quickly took her to the hospital. The chances of survival are slim, but she has several things in her favor. Because she worked as a flight attendant, so she probably knew what to do in this situation. Even though these accidents aren't very common, they have emergency protocols in place. If there's an eyewitness who can report what happened, the crew notifies the captain who used usually stops the ship and backs it up. The authorities and the coast guard are then notified while the crew searches for the spot where the person fell off. If you ever fall overboard, it's important to stay calm, try to stay where you fell, don't drink seawater, and keep your clothes on. This lady got handed a creepy note on the train and you won't believe what it said. In September of 2017, around 5 p.m., she was on the public transit bus coming home from work when someone from behind her handed her a note written in red ink that said, There are two guns pointed at you now. If you want to live, hand back your phone and wallet now. It also told her not to turn around until after she got off the train. She looked in front of her and couldn't see anyone pointing a gun, but she was getting close to her stop so she had to decide what to do. She could take the chance that no one had any weapons, or she could hand them her phone and wallet. When all of a sudden she got an idea, she pretended to have a seizure and fell over into the middle of the bus. A couple rushed over to her and she slipped them the note. They read it and realized what was actually going on. Then the person who gave her the note realized this and got off the bus at the next stop. There was actually no weapons, it was just a scam to get some money things your parents told you that are actually false. Number one, carrots help you see in the dark. Carrots are full of vitamin A, which helps maintain eyesight, but won't give you night vision. Number two, Fruit Loops have different flavors based on their color, but in reality, all Fruit Loops taste the same. Number three, dropping a penny from the Empire State Building can kill someone that's standing below, but a penny can't get that much speed to do that. Number four, all chocolate is bad for your health, but dark chocolate in small amounts can be beneficial for your health. Number five, oranges are always orange. Some oranges stay green to protect them from the sun. Number six, the humps on camels store water. What they actually do is store fat. Amazing treasures that were found by accident. In 2006, a fisherman got his anchor stuck on a giant clam and soon realized there was a large pearl inside of it. Ten years later, he gave it to his aunt who gave it to the mayor to show off at a museum. They then realized how valuable the pearl was. Because the pearl weighed 34 kilograms and was 30 centimeters wide by 67 centimeters long, with a value estimated to be around $100 million. The Crater of Diamonds is located in Arkansas and is open to the public so they can go and find their own diamonds. In 1924, W.O. Basham was lucky enough to find an 8-gram diamond which became the largest ever found in the United States. And in 1971, it was sold for $880,000. According to an urban legend, Atari threw out a bunch of its systems into a garbage dump. So Joe Lewandowski, the owner of the garbage company, found records of where the garbage went and invested $50,000 into a search. It turns out that the legend was real and he was able to sell them all over the world for almost $108,000. 
the most uncomfortable products ever designed. Number one, this child car seat. In order to help parents keep their children quiet in car seats, a designer came up with the idea to paint Disney's Princess Cinderella on it. It looks good when there's a small child sitting in it, but as they get older, you'll have to adjust the headrest and to do that, you have to stretch Cinderella's neck. Number two, these Kleenex tissues. We all know the typical Spider-Man pose, and someone decided to put that on a Kleenex box. And whoever designed it didn't think it through, because they put the image in a way where it looks like you're pulling tissues from Spider-Man's bum. Number three, Wonder Woman scissors. The scissors have a good design when they're closed, but when opened it looks like you're splitting Wonder Woman in two. And finally, number four, the red ribbon. In a children's hospital, they painted a pathway that's supposed to look like a red ribbon, but instead it looked like a path left by someone dragging a bloody body. Three Home Alone traps that would kill you. In Home Alone 2, Kevin makes a swinging pipe at the top of the staircase, then throws it at them directly in the face before cutting the rope and letting it fall on them. The first impact would probably be enough to kill them, because a heavy pipe like that would crush a human skull. But if that wasn't enough to kill them, then when Kevin cuts the rope and the pipe falls on them, that would do it. In the first movie, Kevin pours water on the stairs to make ice. Falling down stairs that are concrete can cause a lot of broken bones and even death. The men could have easily broken their necks if they landed the wrong way, and Harry was even close to it when he landed on his back. Finally, in Home Alone 3, Kevin set up a trap where it looks like he's trying to get up somewhere, but it was actually a prop that's attached to a lawnmower by a rope. So when he pulled on it, the lawnmower fell on him. We all know that this would have shredded him, but in the movie, all that happened is he got a nice little haircut. Secret Places hidden in Famous Locations Part 2 In the Statue of Liberty, there's a small room located inside the torch, but no one can enter it because that part was damaged by the Germans in 1916, and although it was prepared, they don't allow people in it as a safety precaution. Mount Rushmore is famous for the four sculpted faces of previous American presidents, but behind them is a secret vault. Inside are different historical documents, like the Declaration of Independence, the biography of the sculptor, and the history of the construction of the place, but no one can access them. Inside Big Ben, there's a hidden room by the bell tower, and although it's no longer in use, it used to be used as a prison for people who breached the code of conduct. The Tower of London is one of the most famous fortresses in the world and home to the Yeoman Warders. And underneath it there's a pub that you can only enter if you were invited by one of them. Things you didn't know about Squid Game. The symbols on the soldiers' masks were inspired by the organization of ant colonies, therefore dividing them into a circle for the workers, a triangle for the soldiers, and a square for the people in charge. The phone number they used on the invitations card to the game belonged to a real business. When the series became popular, thousands of people started phoning that number and asking to join the game. So to solve this, Netflix had to edit the number. The players never realized that the games they would be playing were in front of their eyes the whole time. Each game was painted in order on the wall of the bedroom. The stairs that led the players to the game room and back were inspired by the artwork of a Dutch artist named M.C. Esther. They actually used 456 people to film the first game, since they didn't want to use a computer-generated image. Finally, the script for Squid Game was created in 2008, but was rejected by several producers before being accepted by Netflix two decades later. Everyday items that prisons have banned and why. Gum has been banned for a few reasons, but one of them is because it could be used to jam the cell door's lock. So when a guard tries to lock it, it won't and the prisoner can get out. A lot of prisoners spend time drawing or writing on paper, and although that's allowed, they can't have a notebook that has a spiral. You may think it's because it could be made into a weapon, which is true, but it could also be used to pick a lock. Finally, in lots of prisons, you're not allowed to have a hardback book, because they could be a good hiding place for a weapon which has been done before, but another reason is because a big book like Harry Potter, for example, would hurt if someone was hit in the back of the head with it. Five Disney secrets you didn't know. If you look closely, some scenes from different Disney movies are quite similar. This is because the drawings were made by hand, and the animators only make a few changes to create a new scene. Lilo's voice belongs to the actress who played the role of Samara Morgan in the movie The Ring. Since Walt Disney wanted to spend most of his free time at Disneyland, he created a secret apartment on the second floor of the fire station on Main Street, located on the famous avenue that leads to the park's central plaza. The name of the wizard in the movie Fantasia is Jensen, which is Disney in reverse. Simba means lion in the Swahili language, and Boo's real name is Mary because the person the person who plays her is called Mary Gibbs. Finally, Walt ordered to build a bunch of tunnels underneath the park to allow the actors to get from place to place without the public noticing so they wouldn't lose the magic of the place. This couple waited 9 years to open their wedding gift, but when they finally did, it changed their lives forever. Kathy and Brendan got a gift from their friend, but she told them not to open it until they got into their first fight. Over the years, they had many fights, and it even got to the point where they considered getting a divorce. But each time, they would eventually end up resolving it so they wouldn't have to open the gift. She said if it wasn't for the gift, they wouldn't still be together, because it taught them to be patient and understand each other before caving in and opening it. But one day, they decided to finally open it, and you won't believe what they found inside of it. But before I tell you, I found this app that tells you your celebrity look like, and apparently I look like Zach King. Just press the button on my profile to try it for yourself and let me know in the comments who you get. In the gifts, they found wine glasses, cash, and two notes. One note was for Kathy and it said to buy pizza with the cash and get a bath ready for both of them. The other note was for Brendan and it said to buy flowers and a bottle of wine. 
This guy found 45 rattlesnakes under his house and you won't believe what he did with them. In 2019, a man started having problems with his cable service. He wanted to see if he could fix the problem himself. So he crawled into his crawl space to see if he could find a loose wire. But then he noticed a couple rattlesnakes, which are fairly common in Texas. But their venom can cause nausea, sweating, blurred vision, and even death. So being in an enclosed area with them isn't the best idea. But it got a lot worse when he noticed there wasn't just two snakes, but 45 of them. He immediately got out of there and called Big Country Snake Removal. They then came to his house and took them all out into buckets. The man lived around 40 minutes away from Sweetwater, which is famous for a rattlesnake roundup. They round up over 250,000 rattlesnakes in plastic bins before butchering them. Some people say it helps with rattlesnake awareness, where other people say it should be bad. The festival organizers pay $10 per pound of snakes, so he could have made around $2,700. But instead, he chose to have them delivered to a quiet place and released back into the wilderness. Things you're doing wrong and didn't know. Deodorant should actually be applied at night and not in the morning. Since you produce less sweat at night, your armpits will be able to absorb more of the active ingredients, allowing it to work for approximately 24 hours. The correct way to peel a banana is to start from the bottom and not the top. Doing it this way, it's easier to peel and it also helps you remove those white strips of banana that get stuck to it. You don't need to fill your entire toothbrush with toothpaste. Just covering a third of the toothbrush is plenty. If you want your sticky notes to stick properly, you should peel them from the sides. Finally, the right way to cover an ice cream container after opening it is by placing wax paper or plastic wrap against the surface of the ice cream before closing it because doing this prevents it from losing its creaminess. Why squeezing your pimples is a bad idea. Our body always tells us when something's wrong. That's why when the pores of our skin become clogged and infected with bacteria, we get a red, lumpy, pus-filled pimple. Trying to make it go away faster by popping it is a terrible idea. The pressure you apply by squeezing your pimple will force the pus outwards, tearing your skin, creating a new wound that can easily turn into a scar. You're also likely to worsen the wound by adding new bacteria from your hands, because at least 150 types of bacteria are on your hands even when you think they're clean. Another thing that could happen is if you don't remove the entire pimple and accidentally push some dirt inside it, you can get an even even bigger pimple and increase the chances of it being infected. If you have lots of acne, it's better to go to a specialist who knows how to treat them. And if you only have a bit, just wait for it to go away on its own. The homeless teen who invented Disney. From an early age, Walter Disney showed interest in drawing. And in 1919, he got a job as an apprentice at a commercial art studio. While he was there, he met a friend and together they opened a drawing business called Disney Eyeworks. But unfortunately, they didn't get any customers. So he decided to start a new business called Laughogram Films, but again, had no luck. Because of this, he became homeless and with only $40 in his pocket, he moved to Hollywood. Universal Pictures hired him to create an animated series called Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. The character was a hit, but Universal kept the rights to the rabbit, leaving Walt out of the picture. A little while later, he created a short film with the financial help of Pat Powers. In that film, he included a character that would become one of the most famous cartoons in the world, Mickey Mouse. But eventually, Powers stopped financing it and Walt went into depression. But soon after, Joseph Schenck encouraged him to animate with color, which resulted in the film Snow White, released in 1937. Today, Walt Disney Studios is one of the most successful companies in the world, with an estimated value of $130 billion. This guy didn't do any work in a group project, so his partner got the ultimate revenge. The girl in the group needed 50% or better to pass the class and graduate, so she calculated that if she got 0% on the project, she would still pass. Since her partner didn't want to fail the class, he would call her every once in a while to see how she was doing. The girl kept saying she was almost done it, when in reality, she hadn't even started it. The day before it was due, he called her to ask her if she could send him the presentation. She sent him an empty PowerPoint, then shut off her phone so he couldn't call her. The day of the presentation, he was nervous, but the girl reassured him by saying she would do everything. When they got up to present to the class, she said, I already had a good enough grade to pass the class, and since my partner decided not to do any work, I decided to take the day off. He ended up having to go to summer school, but he didn't pass, so he has to take his senior year all over again. Game endings almost no one has ever seen. Number 1, Flappy Bird. This game was created in just two days by a Vietnamese developer, Dong Nguyen. It seemed impossible to reach the end of Flappy Bird, but eventually somebody finally did. When you reach 999 points, the bird meets Mario, and then the game just ends. Number 2, Pac-Man. It was created in 1980 by the Japanese company Namco. After level 21, the game becomes increasingly difficult, making it impossible to win. And according to the developers, the game doesn't have an end because of that reason. However, after many hours of playing the game, the most hardcore fans reached the final level, where they discovered a software bug that not even the developers knew existed. On the screen, the left side of the maze looked normal, but on the right side you could see random letters, numbers, and symbols of various colors. But even with this bug, you can still pass the level and the only thing that happens is it brings you back to the screen to play again from level 1. She found out he was cheating on her, but she waited until their wedding day to get revenge. Casey and Alex from Australia had been together for six years, and everyone, including both of their parents, were in favor for their wedding. But the night before, while Casey was hanging out with her bridesmaid at the hotel, she got an anonymous text message. There's a bunch of screenshots that showed conversations between Alex and another woman, and there's even pictures of them together. She looked at the dates, and they ranged from a few months ago to a few days ago. When she showed her friends, they threatened to hurt him and told her to cancel the wedding. She thought about all her family members who had spent money to come to the wedding, so she 
decided to go through with it. While her and Alex were standing in front of their friends and family, she grabbed the mic and said there will be no wedding today. Then she pulled out her phone and read the text messages to everyone. Alex had nothing to say and he ran off with his best man following him. The 5 most funny design fails. This is an ad for the mattress but the guy isn't even laying on it. In order to use these scissors, the instructions say to cut the cable with scissors. You would think the inside of the left one is blue and the inside of the right one is red, but it's actually the opposite. On the red one you could see it says blue. This maze is called amazing, but it's not really amazing, because the only end and finish is right here. Now before I show you the craziest one, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. Just press a button on my profile to get it. Finally, each animal says what to feed it to keep things separate. For example, the lion says feed me plastic and cans. But the thing is, those are terrible things to feed them and kids might actually think that's what they eat. Three tricks Walmart doesn't want you to know. Have you ever been at the store and someone asks you if you want to try a free sample or a new product? Well, a scientist said when you take the free sample, it makes your brain think it's dinner time making you want to buy it. They sometimes put items on sale to make you think like you're getting a better deal. When in reality, they put the sale price as what they would normally sell it for as retail. You may think they just throw products on the shelves randomly, but they actually do it strategically. The top shelf has smaller brands, regional brands, and gourmet brands. They put them there to give tone and texture to the shelf, to help the store stand out from its competitors. The two shelves below are where they put the top selling brand, because it's at the customer's eye level giving them a higher chance of buying it. Below that are the kids shelves, where they usually place child appealing items making the kids want to ask their parents if they could buy it. And finally on the very bottom they have the local brands and bulk items. Sneaky ways airports get you to spend more money. The first thing they do is put the parking ticket at a high price. It's cheaper if you park at a nearby hotel or get a ride by a bus or cab. They also ask you to arrive early to avoid missing your flight. So after checking in and going through security, you'll feel relieved and ready to wait for boarding. And you'll also have plenty of free time to shop. Airports take advantage of this by placing lots of stores in your way, like coffee shops, convenience stores, and restaurants. Most commonly, more stores will be on your right, because most people are right-handed and they tend to look that way more often. Finally, you'll find eye-catching and spacious stores to attract your attention, so you can walk right through with your luggage, while restaurants and cafes will have a quiet atmosphere to make you feel more comfortable and spend more money. This man swam in a cave but never returned and a few years later the police found out the shocking truth. After going through financial difficulty and being $50,000 in debt, Ben McDonald needed an escape from reality. He decided to go explore the caves at a nearby park called Vortex Spring. Even though a certificate was required to go cave diving, he jumped in the water in the restricted zone anyway. And two of the park employees seen him go into it. But he wasn't spotted at his house for the next two days. His truck was still parked outside of the park with his wallet in it. And none of his neighbors had seen him. The local authorities began a search and rescue in the entire park. But after weeks of searching they still hadn't found anything. So they called an expert cave diver named Ed Sorensen. The police were sure he would find his body because he was diving deeper than they had gone before. But he couldn't find anything and the case was classed as an unsolved mystery. Until a few years later when a park employee was mysteriously murdered. Apparently he had heard information about Ben's disappearance which was actually a murder. The reason why none of Ben's remains were found is because they were removed from the crime scene. And the two park employees were paid by someone to leave before Ben returned to the surface. Many people believe he was killed because he got into illegal activity trying to pay off his debt. The place where murder is legal. The specific area is in Yellowstone National Park. Unlike any other district, the District of Wyoming includes land from other states. So if someone was caught for murder in that area, they would be brought to Cheyenne, which is the main court in Wyoming, because the crime technically happened in Wyoming. But in the United States Constitution, it says, the trial shall be held in the state where the crime was committed. So if they invoke their rights to having a trial in Idaho, it will force the court to bring them back there. But it also says that the jury who gives a verdict in a case based on the evidence has to be from the same state and district of where the crime was committed. But the thing is, no one lives there. Here's how they did the biggest bank heist in the world. 25 robbers started by renting a property about a block away from a central bank in Brazil. Then they started digging a tunnel to the basement of the bank. They knew there would be a lot of dirt, so they faked being a landscaping company by putting up signs, renting a van with an ad on it, and even introducing their business to the neighbors. They then dug a 260 foot tunnel to the bank that even had air conditioning and lights. When they got there, they broke through a vault that had 70 million American dollars. They brought it back to the rental property, then transported it away in getaway cars. The next day, one of them decided to buy 10 cars with cash, which set off an obvious alarm so the owner called the police and he was arrested. He ended up telling the police a few people's names who were involved and they were arrested too. But in the end, the police only retrieved $8 million and some of them are still on the loose. Five photos you'll have to look at twice. At first it looks like one of the thumbs from Spy Kids, but it's actually just a sausage hanging from string in front of a man. At first it looks like this bartender's wearing a dress, but it's actually just a giant mirror on the counter showing the customer. At first it looks like this rock is floating in the air, but it's actually in water and the sky's just reflecting off of it. At first it looks like this guy's a giant on the beach, but he's actually just balancing on a tightrope. Now before I show you the craziest one, I found this app that makes your Snapchat score look like this and your Snap score look like this. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, at first this just looks like 
like a brick wall, but if you look close enough in the middle, you can see a cigar. Now comment below if you've seen the Star Wars character that I hid in the video. No one came to his birthday party, so Chuck E. Cheese did this. It was Evan's fourth birthday, and he celebrated in Chuck E. Cheese. His mom prepared a bunch of candy, a birthday cake, big balloons, and a bunch more. She also sent out 30 invitations to his friends. Evan was so excited, so they left early to play games with his friends before the party. He was the first one to get there, so he waited at the door for his friends to arrive. He waited for a long time, but no one showed up. One of the workers had to go to the bathroom to avoid crying because of how bad she felt for the boy. Evan and his parents decided to just go home. After a couple of days, the same worker posted on Facebook asking if anyone would be willing to give Evan a present. Within three to four days she had over a dozen presents to give to him. She contacted Evan's mom and said that the store had a surprise for Evan. So they drove over and she surprised Evan with all the presents. The worker said that seeing Evan's smile was the only thing she wanted that day. This boy said he got a pencil stuck in his ear, but it turned out to be something much worse. This boy went to the hospital with his grandma after saying he snapped the pencil in his ear. Apparently he was playing in it with his ear when it accidentally snapped off. While the doctor was trying to find something in his ear with a camera, he asked the boy to describe it. And the boy said it was just a small piece. The doctor wanted to remove it as soon as possible, because leaving it in his ear for too long could cause an infection or even death. But when the doctor was pulling it out, he realized the boy was lying about what was actually in his ear. Instead of pulling out part of a pencil, he pulled out a watch battery. The doctor also also said he couldn't see his eardrum anymore because the battery made a hole in it. But luckily they regrow and it should be back to normal within 6 weeks. Two prison guards who were saved by inmates. In this footage from 2015, 17 year old Jamal Ludridge is being processed at Fort Lauderdale Police Department. As the officer is booking the teenager for burglary, he gets a pain in his chest and collapses onto the floor. The boy looks around and realizes they're alone, so he starts yelling and kicking on the door to get some help, and ended up saving him from a potentially deadly heart attack. They even had a ceremony to honor him. Inmates from a jail in Georgia were at a cemetery watering the plants and cutting the grass. As the day went on, the guards started to hyperventilate due to the heat and collapsed, leaving the prisoners there without any guards. They could have easily ran away, but they didn't. Six of the prisoners rushed immediately to help the guard. They took off his bulletproof vest so he could breathe better, and one of them grabbed his phone to call 911. And because they saved a life, all six of them got their sentences reduced by a quarter. Here's how a vending machine actually works. When you place a coin in the machine, light sensors determine the size and electromagnets detect the metal type to identify the coins then source them into columns. And if it's a fake, it goes into the reject chute. When it needs to give change, it releases one coin carefully at a time into the chute. When you press a key, a computer orders one of the 32 motors to turn the spiral 360 degrees. Then as the snack falls, it hits a line of 10 infrared beams. If nothing crosses the beams, then the computer orders the coils to turn another 360 degrees until something does. This cop went undercover in a wheelchair to catch thieves. In Vancouver, Canada, the rate of street crimes were rising. Thieves would target people in wheelchairs because it's easier for them to escape. And unfortunately, sometimes they wouldn't just steal from them, but also hurt them. So Sergeant Mark Hosley decided to run an undercover operation. The year before this operation, 28 people in wheelchairs were robbed, and seven of them were physically attacked. The sergeant grew a beard and changed his overall appearance. He also sat in a wheelchair with expensive items to attract the thieves, then went downtown Vancouver to see if someone would rob him so he could arrest them. The operation lasted for 20 days, and in that time he had many people give him food and money. Even people who the police had suspected to be robbers before warned him to keep his expensive items away. In the end, even though they didn't catch anyone, they said it was a success. Because the story went viral and now thieves are scared that they might rob an undercover cop. If you see a cookie under your doormat, call the police immediately. When a burglar finds a house to target, they start by watching the owner to find out information about the routine to figure out the best time to enter the house. One of the tactics they use to gather information is so simple you wouldn't think twice about it. But next time you hear a crunch under your shoe while entering your house, stop and check what it is because if it's a cookie, you're in trouble. This is a tactic burglars use to see if you're gone on a trip or what time you come home every day. Since it's a cookie, people usually don't think too much about it and may even think it's a leaf or a bug. But if the burglar checks on the cookie and it hasn't been broken in a couple days, then they know you're gone on a trip and will break into your house. This man thought he was using a rock as a doorstop, but you won't believe what it actually is. In 1988, David Muzrik was looking for a farm to buy. He found one that interested him, so he went to take a look at it. As the property owner gave him a tour, out of everything in the house, he was most intrigued by a rock that was being used as a doorstopper. The owner said that one night when he was a kid, he saw it fall from the sky. So in the morning, him and his dad went to get it. But there's no proof, so he just had to go with what the owner said. He decided to buy the property and kept using it as a doorstopper. His kids even brought it to school for show and tell. But in 2018, lots of people people found small meteorites in their backyard of Michigan, and they were turning them in for a lot of money. So David thought about how much he could get for his big one, but he didn't know if it was real or not. So he found someone to examine it, and they found out that it contained 88% iron, but also 12% nickel which is mostly found in meteorites. It turned out to be the 6th largest meteorite in Michigan, but he still hasn't decided whether he wants to sell it or not.
a musical instrument that can be played without touching it. The theremin was invented by accident in 1920 by the Russian musician and scientist Leon Theremin. He was creating a device that could measure the density of gases, but realized what he made produced sound that changed according to your hand position. The instrument consists of a box with two metal antennas on the sides and oscillators that control the frequency and amplitude of sound. The electrical signals produced by the instrument are then sent to a loudspeaker. The first antenna is on the right which controls the pitch. The closer you place your hand, the sharper the sound is. The farther you move your hand away from the antenna, the louder it will be. The theremin has been used several times to create themes for television shows and was played in the 70s by Jimmy Page, who's the founder of the Led Zeppelin band. The voices behind three of the most popular cartoons. SpongeBob SquarePants made Nickelodeon $12 billion. The voice actor for SpongeBob is Tom Kenny, who also voiced the mayor in Powerpuff Girls, Dog and Cat Dog, Spiral the Dragon, The Ice King from Adventure Time, and more. Patrick is played by William Mart Fagerbacke, who is in the sitcom Coach, and also How I Met Your Mother. In the movie Moana, Ollie E. Cravello said she wasn't gonna audition because she's seen so many good auditions on YouTube. Then someone finally convinced her. She was the last to audition and she got the part. Maui is played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He said he based the part on his father because Maui was very similar to him. Finally, in Guardians of the Galaxy, Rocket Raccoon is voiced by Academy Award winner Bradley Cooper. I'm gonna kill and his sidekick Groot is voiced by Vin Diesel from the Fast and Furious series. I am Groot. Three animals that you'll be glad are extinct. First off, we have the Gigantophithecus blackie, which is the largest ape that ever lived. It was almost 10 foot tall and weighed over 1,100 pounds. It also walked on its fists. But surprisingly, it didn't eat meat, but would still protect itself from its predators, which included tigers, leopards, and bears. The Bielsey Buffalo Ampinga was a large frog that was 40 centimeters tall and weighed almost 10 pounds. Instead of eating flies and small bugs, it would lie hidden until lizards or young dinosaurs approached, then it would snap them up with their enormous jaws. And lastly, we have the Brontaurus burmistri, which was the largest carnivorous bird ever at 10 feet tall, also weighing around 1,000 pounds with massive claws. It was also as quick as a cheetah, and its kick was hard enough to shatter a bone. Own. These inspectors found 110 violations at a restaurant called China Buffet. When the interviewers got there, they found steak lying on the ground, and the sink where they cleaned dishes looked like this. Just a few things that the inspectors found were six live roaches near a food prep table, a bunch of different meats laying out and not in the freezer, the dishwasher wasn't sanitizing, there was mold everywhere, an employee was smoking in the food prep area, a bathroom in the kitchen had sewage all over the floor which made the whole place stink, and that's just six of the 110 violations. When they asked the restaurant owner a few questions, this this is what he had to say. No cameras. No cameras what? Don't, first of all, don't That's touch. Assault. First of all, That's first of all, don't touch the camera. Don't touch wait, the camera. Talk to him, attorney. Don't touch my camera. Don't touch my camera. The disturbing secret behind this mannequin will give you goosebumps. In 1930, a bridal shop owner put a new mannequin and dress in the display window. Everyone who walked by it would stop and take a look at it because they all thought it looked way too real. The daughter of the shop's owner was about to get married in one of the gowns from the shop. But on the day of her wedding, she got bit by a venomous black widow spider. She got really sick and couldn't attend her wedding. And before the day was over, she unfortunately passed away. When her father placed the mannequin in the window, people started getting weird feelings in their stomach because of how similar the mannequin looked to his daughter. Many people think that he preserved her body and used it as the mannequin. When the owners sold the store, the new owners kept the mannequin. Many tourists go to the store just to look at the mannequin. A worker that changes the gown two times a week said that she starts to sweat when she goes near it, and that she's seen enough of the body to know that it's not your average mannequin. The hands look extremely real and there's even veins on her legs. Customers have even said that she moves when you're not looking, but nothing has ever been proven that it's not just a mannequin. Mysterious photos that can't be explained. In this photo, if you look behind this man's head, you can see a shadow behind him. The face of the shadow belongs to Air Force pilot Freddie Jackson, who had passed away and his funeral had taken place a few hours before. In this photo of students, you can see a hand that doesn't belong to any one of them. And although they thought it was a joke, many people think it was paranormal activity. This photo was taken on a bridge in Oakville, Kentucky. The shadow appears to be of a woman walking, and coincidentally, there's a story that a soldier murdered his wife and child near this location. After a family dinner, Mr. Cooper took this picture to remember, but when they looked at it, they seen a strange figure hanging from their ceiling. This missing six-year-old was found alive behind a staircase. Paisley Schultes was reported missing when she was four years old. In New York in 2019. In 2021, the police got a tip from someone to search a house. And when they got there, this is what they found. After going up and down the stairs many times, a detective felt something was off. So he looked a little closer in between the cracks of the staircase and saw a blanket. Inside was the girl and her mother hiding. The police said that the girl was abducted by her parents after they found out that they were going to give the girl to a new guardian. When the police were driving the girl, she got all excited and asked asked if that was a McDonald's. Then the officer said yes. She said she remembered loving McDonald's but she hadn't gone there in a long time. So the officer immediately turned around to go get her some McDonald's.
Homeowners who spent a fortune just for revenge. A couple that was in the process of a divorce in the 1920s made an agreement where the husband had to build a house for her that was identical to the house they were living in, but she didn't specify the place where she wanted it. So the man had it built in a saltwater marsh that was in the middle of nowhere. In a Seattle neighborhood, neighbors got into an argument about a small plot of land. The owner of the land was approached by his neighbor who offered him a small amount of money for the land so he could grow a garden. For some reason, the landowner was so offended that he built a house. In the end, the neighbor moved because the house of obstructed his view. In Argentina, Karina Cavana was rejected from her partner's mother, so in revenge she set out to build a house that would obstruct the view of the Basilica of the Blessed Sacrament from the home of the family that rejected her. Three people who beat the system. A lady from Vancouver spotted her stolen bike for sale online. She phoned the police but they were busy that day and couldn't help her, so she decided to call the thief and say she was interested in buying the bike. They met at McDonald's and she immediately knew that it was hers, so she asked to try it out and he agreed and she never came back. Kimberly Oakley left a note for her son Jason saying can you hang this out please. But she didn't specify what this meant. So Jason took her words more serious than she thought he would and literally hung up the note and sent her this picture. Now before I tell you about the smartest kid, I found an app that gives you these secret emojis and also a bunch of cool fonts. Just press a button on my profile to get it. Finally, this kid's mom has simple rules. No food in the living room and no technology in the kitchen. So the boy beat the system by laying in between the two. Prisoners who escaped prison and were never found. Clarence Anglin, John Anglin, and Frank Morris are the only three prisoners who managed to escape Alcatraz prison in 1962. Because the prison is on an island, they probably died in the icy waters of San Francisco, but their bodies were never found. Sharon Kin murdered three people and was sentenced to life imprisonment in the 1960s. After 13 years in a Mexican prison, she managed to escape thanks to a blackout. To this day, her arrest warrant is one of the longest in U.S. history. John Patrick Hannon and Gwyneth Thomas escaped from the Vern prison in England. They used several knotted sheets to climb over a wall, and within a few few hours Thomas was captured, but Hannon has been free for 66 years and is considered one of the most successful escapees. Facts you think are lies but are actually true. The Italian term spaghetti used to name a type of pasta is plural, and if you want to refer to a single piece of pasta in a package, the correct term is spaghettio. Columbus Day is celebrated in the United States on the second Monday of October, but the truth is Columbus never set foot in the United States. Man stepped on the moon before wheeled suitcases were made. Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon in 1969, and suitcases with wheels were created in 1972. Clouds in the sky may look really light, but depending on the size, they weigh about a ton. The military uses dogs to detect bombs thanks to their scenting abilities which is really useful for ground operations but what many people don't know is that the navy trains and uses dolphins to detect bombs at sea and even attack enemy ships this family adopted a baby and here's how they found her special talent. 8,000 miles away from them in China, a baby was found in a shoebox outside of a train station. The baby was then transported to an orphanage. When the walkers saw pictures of the baby, they instantly fell in love and flew to China to adopt her. When they got home with their new baby, the little girl was amazed by their grandfather clock. Every time it struck the hour, the little girl would sing with the clock. And her parents were shocked because every time her pitch was perfect. That's when her parents realized she was naturally gifted. And as she grew up, they took her to music classes. She was even asked to sing the national anthem at a Houston Astros baseball game. A Grammy-nominated producer heard her singing and offered her a recording contract. She agreed and had her debut album called Simple Gifts recorded in Asheville. Animals that saved human lives. A parent named Willie saved a two-year-old girl from choking on her food. The girl's babysitter went to the bathroom when she suddenly heard the parrot yelling, Mommy! Baby! while flapping its wings. She quickly ran to the kitchen where the girl was and saw that she had blue lips. So she began doing abdominal compressions. Thankfully, it worked and opened up her airway, saving her life thanks to the parrot. In Ethiopia, a 12-year-old girl was kidnapped by four men on her way to school. Three lions appeared and scared the kidnappers away. Then they stayed with her until the police found where she was. Debbie Parkhurst, a 45-year-old from America, was saved by her golden retriever dog named Toby when she was choking on an apple that she had taken a bite out of. Toby started jumping on top of her and managed to pull out the piece of apple that was stuck in her throat. This 15 year old is allergic to air and here's how she survives. One morning, Martina Baker woke up with red itchy dots all over her body. Then she suddenly got a swollen throat. Her symptoms kept going away then coming right back for weeks. Her parents kept bringing her to the hospital but they couldn't figure out what was happening to her. So they then took her to an immunologist who diagnosed her with mast cell activation syndrome which causes her to be allergic to anything in the air that isn't oxygen including perfume, smoke, heat, water and a bunch of other things. She takes medication every day and also carries EpiPens just in case. She didn't go outside often, but when she did, she had to wear a mask. And this was before everyone else had to wear masks, so she was bullied. Then her mom heard about a service dog program. The dogs are trained to smell the air, then warn the owners to stop walking forwards. They decided to get one, and now whenever the dog senses that she'll get an allergic reaction, it will start giving her kisses on the cheek to warn her.
Crazy ideas that actually worked. In some parts of the world, sunlight doesn't always reach, especially in the winter. So an engineer and an architect placed a giant mirror on the side of the mountain to reflect the sunlight. Alex too, who was a British student, needed money to pay for college. So he created a website with a million blank pixels, each one costing one dollar. On the website, companies could buy a pixel to place their logo and a link to their website. It was really successful and in no time, Alex earned a million dollars. In 2015, scientists discovered that due to the sun, a city's drinking water reservoir was evaporating and had increased increased levels of bromate, which is from the sun hitting the water and can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. So the solution was simple. They covered the water with millions of non-toxic plastic balls, which gave shade to the water and fixed both problems. This lady refused to tip the waiter but didn't realize what she left on the table. Armando dropped off two slices of pizza for a lady and a child at their table. Then the lady questioned him on why there is only a few pictures of women on the wall. Since he was just a waiter at the restaurant and had no clue, he jokingly said that maybe women just don't eat pizza much. A few minutes later, he went to check on them but they were gone. The lady had left the restaurant without paying and she left him a handwritten note that said, maybe women don't tip too. He felt bad because he didn't realize that his joke had offended her. Then he saw an envelope on the table that had Citibank written on it. So he ran outside to give it back to her, but he couldn't find her. He saw that inside it, it had a check for $424,000. Since he's an honest man, he didn't cash it and he handed it to his boss. They then tracked her down through the newspaper. Apparently she had that money because she had just sold her house. She apologized to Armando and offered him money for finding it, but he declined. The owner also explained to her that she had missed the wall with lots of pictures of women on it too. Dumb inventions that people actually use. The Hug Me Pillow was designed for people who miss their partners. Its shape stimulates half of the upper back of a human and an arm to cuddle with. One of the sillier inventions that are actually really popular are cutters. They make cutters for avocados, strawberries, bananas, and even boiled eggs. The egg cracker has become really popular. It's a pretty simple machine. You just place the egg inside, press the device, and it cracks the shell. The toothpaste dispenser is something that lots of people didn't know they needed until it came out. You just put your toothbrush in the opening, a little bit of toothpaste comes out, and that's it. The ostrich pillow is designed promises that you have a very comfortable nap. Basically, you just put your head inside the pillow, and depending on what position you're lying in, you could also put your hands inside. The strangest last meal requests on death row. Ricky Ray Rector killed a man in a restaurant then ran away. Three days later, he agreed to turn himself in, but then he shot the police officer in the back. His last meal included steak, fried chicken, cherry Kool-Aid, and a slice of pie. But he didn't even touch the pie. And when they asked him why, he said he was saving it for later. Peter J. Mignel robbed and murdered a 20-year-old by stabbing him 39 times. For his meal, he requested 20 beef tacos, 20 beef enchiladas, 2 double cheeseburgers, a pizza with jalapenos, fried chicken, spaghetti with salt, half a chocolate cake, half a vanilla cake, cookies and cream ice cream, caramel fudge ice cream, a small fruit cake, two Coca-Colas, two Pepsis, two root beers, and two orange juices. Finally, we have Velma Barfield, who killed a total of six people. And all she wanted for her last meal was a bag of cheesy doodles and a can of Coke. This boy was scared of the dark, so he slept with his goldfish. One night, Cory and Tori Hamlin tucked their son into bed, read him a nighttime story, then went to the living room to watch TV. A little while later, they heard a noise coming from their son's room. So Tori yelled to see if he was okay, and he said it was just his dresser making noise, so his parents weren't concerned. A little while later, his mom went to check on him before she went to bed, and she seen a chair pushed against his dresser, and his fishbowl was on the ground. But the fish was nowhere to be seen. She looked everywhere until she finally found it. She said it was so extraordinary that she had to take a picture. When she woke him up, he was because he didn't realize that he had killed the fish. The next day, his parents explained to him what had happened. He was still really sad, but he asked his parents if they could get another one. And he said he would never touch a fish again unless they were fishing. His parents agreed because they wanted to give him a second chance to learn from his mistake. Five everyday things that prove our life is a lie. Mini carrots sold in supermarkets aren't really that size. They're cut to look like that and more noticeable to the eye. Hair doesn't grow thicker if you cut it or shave it. Many people think this because the tip that's left is blunt, which makes it appear to be thicker until it's finished growing. The taste of Coca-Cola changes when it's packaged in cans. The only container that it doesn't change taste is in glass because it's chemically inert, which means that it doesn't affect the product. The gold medals in the Olympics aren't only made of gold. They're made of pure silver that's plated in gold, so they only actually contain about one 0.34% of gold, which would be equivalent to 6 grams. Finally, for the longest time, people have been using bricks for their walls because it's sturdy. But nowadays, companies can make anything look like brick walls. So if it looks like this, it may not be as sturdy as you think. Bizarre things found in people's backyard. A man found a dinosaur bone that was 250 million years old. A couple who bought a house in California found an anti-nuclear bunker from the 1960s. It was built during the Cold War and was four meters underground for radiation protection. One man found human bones while doing yard work. He took them for examination and they were determined to be bones from a thousand years ago. A man digging came across a passageway that led to the pyramids of Egypt. He dug around 30 feet down the tunnel and archaeologists confirmed that it was a tunnel leading to Egypt's oldest pyramid. In Iowa, a family found a mammoth femur in 2000. 
2010. He kept it for 16 years until it was finally examined in 2013. Scientists determined that the bone was approximately 12,000 years old and belonged to a woolly mammoth. Three people who beat the system part two. A man from Turkey was banned from his hometown soccer stadium for a year, but he said there was a match that was really important. So he had to go to the police station to sign a paper to show that he wouldn't be allowed to watch the game in the stadium. Then right after, he quickly went to rent a crane. It only cost him $86 and he even led the crowd in a chant. A girl's phone was about to die, so she yelled at her mom upstairs to bring her down a charger. The mom decided to put the charger around the dog and told her daughter to call the dog downstairs. Now before I tell you about the smartest kid, I found this app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing changing their text messages. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, this girl was playing on the computer and didn't want her mom to shut it off. So she placed Legos all over the floor because we all know that it's the most painful thing in the world. Five animals that can kill themselves. Sometimes the horns of rams and goats grow so curved and big that they penetrate their skull causing their death. Horses and donkeys can suffer from abnormal growth in their hooves. If their hooves aren't trimmed, they can no longer walk because of the pain causing them to die from starvation. When turtles fall on their back, it's really hard for them to roll back over. When this happens, they usually die from too much sun, starvation, or attacks from another animal. During mating season, deers get into such aggressive fights with each other that their antlers get stuck together to the point where they can't be untied. When this happens and no one can separate them, the deer die because they're unable to eat. Finally, the deer pig is famous for its two upper tusks. The growth becomes so uncontrollable that it pierces the upper part of their jaw, and in some cases when they're really big they could pierce their skull causing their death. People who got stuck in the strangest places. Jamie Bracken Murphy was a young Irish boy who got stuck in a stuffed animal vending machine. He wanted to grab one of the toys so he went in the machine but couldn't get out. Thankfully it was easy for them to get him out and he was only in there for a couple minutes. A man named Cato Larson got stuck in a toilet while trying to get his friend's phone out. He didn't just reach his hand in, he went all the way in the toilet and he couldn't get out. He couldn't find his phone either to call for help. He stayed there for an hour until he was freed by firefighters who had to break the toilet to get him out. Finally, a woman named Rosie decided to get into a washing machine for a TikTok, but her legs got stuck so she had to call someone for help to get her out. She tried calling her friends first but they couldn't, so she ended up having to get help from the fire department. Three rejected Shark Tank pitches that made millions. First off, we have the Ring Doorbell. So if you don't know what it is, it's a doorbell that has a camera on it, and whenever it detects motion or someone rings the doorbell, it sends a notification to your phone, where you can then go onto the app and see them or even talk to them. When Jamie Siminoff appeared on the show, the company was worth $7 million. Now the company doesn't just make doorbells, but they also make home security systems and a bunch more. Amazon gave them $1 billion to have their items on their website. The Books is an online flower delivery service. In 2014, they left Shark Tank without an investor. But Three years later, one of the sharks needed flowers for his wedding and ended up using the service. After that, he ended up investing in them. And in 2017, they sold $1 million of flowers in just one day. Finally, the bed jet is placed under your covers and allows you to change the temperature, rather than changing it for your whole house, which costs more money. But since he had no sales, all the sharks were out. When he released it to the market, he sold $3 million worth in his first month. Gadgets that give you superpowers. MYO is a bracelet made by Telmic Labs. It allows you to control your electronics with simple gestures. The sensors detect the movements in your arm muscles, and some of its functions are you can control the volume of your music, you can control drones, and you can also play games without the joystick. If you've ever wanted to throw fire with your hands, you can with the Pyro Mini Flamethrower. You put it on your wrist and it lets you throw sparks, flames, and fireballs. It does this by quickly burning tissue. The exoskeleton is a full bodysuit. It has integrated weapons, it's bulletproof, it increases your mobility and strength by taking the stress off your joints and muscles, which even allows people in wheelchairs to stand up and walk. This man got locked in a grocery store. Kevin Blackwood got locked in an Aldi's grocery store after it closed. So I had to call 911 because the alarm is activated and I can't get out. But it wasn't his fault because the cashier closed the store 15 minutes early and didn't check to see if there was anyone else still in the store. I just got locked in at Aldi and they don't close till like 9 o'clock. It was probably one of the best places to be locked in because there's a ton of food. I don't have to worry about starving to death because there's plenty of food. But eventually the cops arrived and they unlocked the doors. Photos with disturbing backstories. This photo was taken in 1986, just before NASA sent these seven explorers into space on the Space Shuttle Challenger. However, a few seconds before takeoff, the shuttle exploded and killed the explorers. To this day, it's unknown if Princess Diana died from an accident or if someone planned it. This photo was taken in Paris just before the crash that caused her death. In 2015, this plane from TransAsia Airways crashed in Taiwan minutes after this photo was taken. The plane was carrying 58 passengers and ended up crashing into the Keelung River. The pilot said he pulled back the throttle on the wrong side and accidentally shut off the the only working engine. This error resulted in 43 deaths and 15 injuries. This photo was taken in Thailand in 2004, right before an earthquake caused a tsunami that reached 100 feet high and more than 200,000 people died. 
Tricks that cops don't want you to know. In lots of countries, police are allowed to tell lies, if necessary, to obtain information they believe may be relevant. You have the right to record as long as you're not under arrest. You can also ask for identification, and they can force you to erase the video without a warrant. The requests an officer makes to you aren't in order. For example, if they don't have a warrant to search your car, then it's within your rights to refuse. But it's better to let them do it if you have nothing to hide, because you'll most likely be detained until they get a warrant. The best thing to do when dealing with the police is to act calmly, because if you're nervous or have a defensive attitude, it'll keep Keep them on their toes and the situation may become more difficult. Finally, police officers may use false evidence to try and trick you into admitting the crime. For example, they may use a fake lie detector on a suspect to try and get them to admit or not admit the crime that they are being charged with. Dark secrets you didn't know about SeaWorld. SeaWorld is home to orcas who were kidnapped from the ocean, but the stories they tell about their captures are way different from what actually happened. For example, one of the stories they tell is that one of the orcas, which they named Tilikum, was rescued when she was two years old because she was injured in the ocean. But the truth is that she was taken away from her natural habitat against her will and given to SeaWorld for exhibition. The dolphins in the park suffer from stress caused by the contact they have with humans which prevents them from feeding, resting, and taking care of their babies. Even though this information is supported by studies done at the University of Newcastle, they continue to let the public touch them. Finally, all the animals suffer from terrible consequences from overcrowding and unnatural living conditions. For example, the whales live in spaces that would be equivalent to us living in a bathtub, which doesn't allow them to swim enough to stay healthy, and you could tell by their collapsed dorsal fins. But SeaWorld claims that it's a natural condition. Tactics businesses use to trick you. Companies say on their website that there's more people looking at the product or flight ticket that you want to buy to pressure you into buying it before it runs out. But it's usually a fake number that's randomly generated. Sometimes large packages are used to make people think that there's more things inside it than there actually is. So you should always check the total weight of the package and not just look at the size. One of the most popular tactics is the 99 cent effect. Customers would rather buy a product that says it costs 99 cents instead of $1 because they focus on the first number. By saying items are limited in stock or about to run out, create scarcity for the buyer, which makes you buy it faster or want it even more. Ambient lighting and music in a restaurant are used to create feelings in customers depending on what you want to convey. For example, in some fast food places, they can make it noisy to make customers buy and leave quickly to generate more money from future customers. These customers bought out a donut store so the owner can take care of his sick wife. This is what the store looked like at 5 in the morning. The line was already going out the door. All of the customers are there to show their support by buying as many donuts as they can so the owner can leave early to take care of his wife who's recovering from a brain aneurysm. Yeah, I bought uh, three dozen. Yeah, I came in the other day and bought 300. When this lady named Jonah got there, all of the donuts were sold out and it was only 7 in the morning. But instead of being mad, she was really happy. Because growing up, she also had a family business. So she was happy that people were there to show support for a local business. 5 People Who Beat The System Part 4 This guy had to send in a picture of him in a suit and tie to his work. But he doesn't own one so he photoshopped his face on somebody else's. A mayor in Brazil prohibited bar owners from setting tables on the sidewalk. So their solution was to put them on the back of a truck. At a camp, all the kids had to write a letter home before they ate. So this kid just wrote, I was forced to write this to eat. The students in this class had to pick a Marvel character, then write a resume and cover letter pretending to be them. So this student chose to do Groot and since the only thing he says is I am Groot, that's what he put for everything. Before I show you the smartest kid, I found an app that lets you prank your friends and family by changing their text messages. Just press the button on my profile to get it. This boy's mom put a lock on the drawer, so when he's misbehaving, she puts his electronics in it. But she never knew that the boy could take out the top drawer to get to the bottom one. People who had one job but still failed. This person put up a sign saying give cyclists space but it blocks off the bike lane. This person gave the baker a flash drive with the picture they wanted on the cake. But instead the baker put a picture of the flash drive. On the news they were supposed to blur out the people in the background's faces. But you could still see them perfectly fine in the mirror. This person's job is to cut the grass but they're too lazy to move the pylon. Now before I show you the most funniest one, I found an app that scans your palm and tells you your future. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, this person put a drain in the only spot that doesn't get water. So I guess it's it's working, right? Things that only exist in Japan. They have square watermelons. Farmers use special containers to give them the shape, but they're so expensive that people usually only get them for special occasions. In Japan, there's other Kit Kat flavors, like chili, sweet potato, wasabi, roasted corn, soy, watermelon, or mango. In lots of buildings, there's parking for umbrellas, which are similar to those of bicycles. In their traffic lights, they have a blue light instead of a green. There's a canned food restaurant chain. In some places, there are no number four. For example, some buildings don't have a fourth floor, and some stores don't sell items that come in fours. Their toilets are high tech. Some of the functions are a heated seat, spraying warm water, and even playing music. Their cabs have automatic doors for passengers. And finally, they have capsule hotels, which are rooms that only have a bed and a TV. 
how KFC was made from a gas station recipe. When Harlan Sanders was six years old, his father passed away, so his mother had to work while he took care of his siblings. In 1930, he got offered a job at the Shell Oil Company to manage a gas station. He quickly got the idea to make more money by making food for drivers passing through the gas station. His food, especially his fried chicken, became very famous. He came up with a technique to reduce the cooking time of the chicken, and also experimented with different spices until he got the flavor that he wanted. He then called it the secret blend of 11 herbs and spices. In 1950, he had to sell his place because of the construction of a new highway which decreased his customers, which decreased his sales, leaving him in debt. After this, he got the great idea to create the franchise Kentucky Fried Chicken. He drove around the country selling his recipe and preparation technique to different companies in exchange for four cents per one chicken sold. By 1963, there are more than 600 franchises throughout United States and Canada. And finally, when he was 73 years old, he sold his franchise to an investment group for what would be over $14 million today. Secrets the Royal Guards don't want you to know. They wear those long black hats to appear taller and more intimidating. If they have to go to the bathroom, they have to do it while standing there because they're not allowed to leave their position. They're allowed to move while on duty, but they're only allowed to take 15 steps every 10 minutes. Because standing in one place for too long is bad for their health. If you see them marching towards you, you better get out of the way. Because they'll either carry you away or yell, Make way for the Queen's Guards! Their weapons are usually empty unless there's a threat or an emergency. They're trained to faint in the right way so they don't make a ruckus. Which is why if any of them faint, they'll faint forwards and onto their face. They're not allowed to smile or laugh, and if they do, they get $200 taken off their salary. That's why they always have a serious attitude even when tourists try to make them laugh. The most painful things humans can experience. Childbirth is one of the most intense and painful things a woman can experience. This is due to the pain caused by the contraction of muscles and the pressure caused by the fetus. Women who have gone through this say it feels like very intense cramping. Kidney stones can be caused by drinking too little water, exercising too much or too little, obesity, weight loss surgery, or eating foods with too much salt or sugar. The stones are made of minerals and salts that form in your kidneys. Kidney stones start to hurt when it blocks your urine from traveling to your bladder from your kidneys. Of all the types of headaches, cluster headache is the worst. Only 1% of the world suffers from them, and the people who have experienced it say it's a piercing, sudden, and intense pain. Finally, shingles is a viral infection that causes burning in your skin that appears as blisters, which contain pus or blood. He built a secret home in the corner of the mall and lived there for four years before being discovered. While Providence Place Mall was under construction, Michael Townsend, who's an American artist, was running around the site when he noticed a section that made no sense. It was an opening between two walls that led to a space too small to be a store and too angular to be part of the parking lot. But he continued on his run. Four years later, him and his friends were forced to leave the place that they were living because it was going to be destroyed and replaced with a parking lot. Because of this, he got an idea and remembered the space that he had seen years ago. That's when him and his friends got to work and cleaned up the space. They decorated it and took a electricity from the mall for a TV and video games. The only thing they didn't have is a bathroom, but they were caught four years later, and they all went to trial for trespassing and many other charges, but the judge made the decision to let them go on probation. Five things you eat that are a lie. Fruit Loops don't have any different flavors. They all taste the same, the only thing that changes is the color. Fortune cookies aren't originally from China. They were created in the United States by a Japanese man named Makoto Hagiwara. But lots of people still argue that he didn't make them. The crab meat you find in sushi is actually an imitation. It's made with finely ground white fish that's shaped, colored, and flavored to look like a crab. Pringles potato chips aren't only made of potatoes. They actually contain less than 50% and the rest is made up with flour and cornstarch. Finally, the double stuffed Oreo cookies cookies aren't actually double stuff. They only have 1.92% more filling than the original cookie. Here's how they caught Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy was an American serial killer. He used his ability to talk in a polite manner to pass off as a quiet guy. Although the police had witnesses saying they seen a man with his characteristics in the same places where a woman had gone missing. They didn't find a killer. But then a sketch of Ted Bundy was released and after this, the police received tons of calls saying they identified the killer. And finally in 1975, the police arrested Ted for a traffic violation. He raised the police's suspicion when he wanted to leave. But they stopped him and when they checked his car, they found questionable objects like crowbars, ski masks with holes for the eyes, handcuffs, and a lot more. He was then arrested a year later later for an attempted kidnapping and sentenced to 15 years in prison. And months later, he was charged with the murder of Karen Campbell. In prison, he wasn't tied up, so he jumped out of the window of a library and escaped. He was captured a week later, but within months, he escaped again. He committed more murders both times he escaped, including a 12-year-old girl named Kimberly Leach. In 1979, he went on trial for the murders he committed at a sorority house. He was convicted and sentenced to death in the electric chair. After a bunch of appeals, he was electrocuted in 1989 and pronounced dead. But before his execution, he confessed to a bunch of murders, and it's believed that he may have committed over 50 50. Miracles people claim to have caught on tape. On Route 385 in Memphis, Tennessee, a driver lost control of his Jeep and went off the road. The car was immediately engulfed with flames. The driver escaped unharmed, but the curious thing is the police found a Bible that was untouched by the fire. It was perfectly fine even though the car was almost in ashes. In the Philippines, a little girl woke up at her funeral. Apparently she was ill and had a high fever which caused her to go into a coma. But the doctors didn't know that and declared her dead the day before her funeral. But luckily her relatives found out in time. Praladyani was a Hindu ascetic who claimed 
he hadn't eaten or drank anything in over 70 years. Specialists in the scientific department put him in hospital for 15 days under 24 hour supervision and claimed he hadn't eaten or drank anything in those 15 days. According to the man, this can be achieved by meditation and a divine blessing. These simple objects had a secret from you in plain sight. The marks on the side of coins haven't always been there. In the 18th century, people were saving coins to make new ones, which is clearly illegal. So to stop this, they began engraving the sides to prevent them from being manipulated, which worked. The ring on cans lets people put their cigarettes there, but also if you have a painting that's fallen because one of the hooks detached, you can screw the ring into the painting and hang it again. Water bottles can be used to create a small greenhouse. Just cut the bottom and you can watch the seed grow. The Orbit chewing gum has a secret hidden in the logo. The round shape of the O has two colors. The light one represents day and the dark one represents night, just like our planet orbiting the sun. And finally, if you place garlic cloves in the microwave for 10 seconds, the husk will separate so you don't have to peel it with your hands. Seven random facts you'll hear for the first time. The bones of mice are extremely flexible, so much so that they can even fit into the hole of a pen. Stop signs were yellow until they were changed into red in 1954. The defense mechanism for the mimic octopus is insane. It can change color and take on the shape of another animal, like sea snakes, flounders, or lionfish. The hole in the middle of a spaghetti spoon isn't only to drain water. It's also used to measure a portion for one person. The hottest place inhabited by humans is Delol, Ethiopia, where temperatures have reached 49 degrees Celsius. The only letter in the English alphabet that isn't in the periodic table is J. When tea was first marketed, the beverage was placed in hand-sewn cloth bags. The idea was that the consumers would pull the leaves out of the bag, but they didn't know that and used it that way. They were a success and are still used like that. Five people who beat the system. This teenager's parents were gone for five days, so they put a camera in the house. So the kid put the camera towards a picture of the house, so their parents wouldn't know if they have anyone over. This boy's mom told him to go play outside. So what did he do? He brought his computer and played outside. If you park in front of this sign, you have to pay. And if you park behind this sign, you'll get towed away. But they didn't say anything about parking in the middle. On a bonus question, the teacher put, hint, it's not Greenland. So that's what the student put and they got the mark. Now before I show you the smartest person, I found an app that gives you a personalized workout based on your body type and goals. Just press the button on my profile to get it. Finally, this person parked in an illegal spot, so they gave themselves a fake ticket so they won't get a real one. This boy lived in a bubble for 18 years. Jimmy Livingston was born with no immunity, so he had to be kept isolated. His parents made him a plastic bubble that he couldn't get out of, and they could only touch him with gloves. When he was 16, he was attracted to his neighbor Chloe, who he could see through his window. When his overprotected mom found out about this, she warned him that if he touched her, he would die. As the years went on, Jimmy and Chloe became friends. Until one day, Chloe gave him news that left him really sad. She would be leaving soon to marry her fiance at Niagara Falls. Since Jimmy was in love with her, he decided to make a suit, so he could go outside and interrupt the wedding. A few days later he arrived just in time to interrupt the wedding. Then he confessed his love for Chloe and got out of the suit and kissed her. His mother arrived just in time to see him and told everybody the truth. Jimmy was perfectly fine. She was just holding him captive to keep him away from the rest of the world. In the end, Jimmy forgives his mother and ends up marrying Chloe. Why North Korea is the hardest country to escape. Since Kim Jong-un took power in North Korea, it's become harder and harder to cross the North Korean border. When his father was in charge, the number of people who crossed the border was higher because the border security was less tight. They could simply bribe the local border control and they would let them pass into China. But when Kim Jong-un realized this, he decided to tighten the security. And now the border patrol can shoot anyone that tries to cross the border. He also had an electric barbed wire fence installed across the border. There's lots of escape groups, but they're all really dangerous. If anyone manages to reach China, they'll have to stay in hiding because if they're found by the authorities, they'll be sent back to North Korea where they'll be accused of being spies. So instead they have to reach a country where they won't be deported, which is Thailand. When they arrive in Thailand, they must turn themselves in to the authorities to be transferred to that country. It can take them between two to six months to complete this escape, but the people who decide to do it prefer to take the risk rather than continue living in North Korea.
The five most illegal products on Pawn Stars. Number one, an antique gun desk. This type of weapon is classed as a novelty weapon because of its low capacity, rarity, and difficulty in finding ammunition. But the one shown on the TV show had one round of ammunition left in it. And to make it legal, you either have to deactivate the device or make it unusable. Number two, a turtle shell guitar. The shells of turtles are made of 60 interconnected bones. They're so strong that they started making guitars out of them until it was illegal. Number three, a German spy camera. It was the first spy camera manufactured by the Minox company and was designed by Walter Zapp in 1936. Number four, Penn State University orange bowl ring. Penn State items are highly wanted, but in this case the engraving was erased making it illegal to buy and sell. And number five, a Tyrian shekel coin. Tyre was the most important city in Phoenicia, which is now southern Lebanon. Its coins were given out from 130 BC to 70 AD, and apparently the one taken to the show was stolen. Scammers who got caught in the act. In China, people trying to scam drivers is common. In this video, a man was driving down a narrow road when suddenly a lady walked into the middle of the road and laid down and then waits for the vehicle to get close to her so she pretends that she's been hit. But the driver put the car in reverse. Then the lady got off the ground and tried to dent the front of the vehicle then lay back down. If the man didn't have the dash cam, they may have thought he actually hit her. In this video, a man is driving along when suddenly a car pulls out in front of him and zigzags to try and cause a minor collision. The car then stops and a group of men get out, blocking the driver from continuing. The way the scam works is the men try and get the guy's insurance details so they can claim money from the company for supposedly being hit. But when the driver tells them that they're being recorded, they just walk away and try and find their next victim. Five animals that can live after death. Chickens can live without their heads as long as their brain stems aren't cut off. Because most of their motor functions aren't controlled by the brain, but by the brain stems. Salamanders have the ability to regenerate limbs and organs so they don't die. When they're old enough, they could regenerate again and again, even their brain, heart, and spinal cord. After a snake loses its head, it still has hours to live. So you better stay away from its head, because it can still inject you with its venom even after death. Flatworms can rebuild any part of its body after it's cut off. If they're cut in half, the head will rebuild the tail and vice versa resulting in two flatworms. Cockroaches are resistant to radiation and are most likely to survive a nuclear attack. They can live after decapitation for a long time, but since they can't eat, they die of starvation. Three places you should never swim. One of the rivers that you should never set foot in is Bubbly Creek, located in Chicago. In the 1900s, American meatpacking companies drained their waste into this creek, which caused really toxic fumes due to the decomposition of animal organs and blood. Not even a fish could survive in this creek. In Thailand, there's one area that causes concern called the Sam Mason Hole. It's a really deep underwater cave, which causes bad visibility for whoever swims there. So unless you want to get lost in the sea, I don't recommend swimming there. The last place is called the Amazon Basin in South America. It's drained by the Amazon River and has lots of predatory animals, like caimans, barracudas, piranhas, and deadly candiru fish, which is attracted by urine and can get into your urinary tract and cause a lot of pain. This man has the longest nails in the world. Sridhar Shalal stopped cutting the nails on his left hand in 1952 when he was just 14 years old. His longest nail was on his thumb, measuring 197.8 centimeters long. In 2014, he got a Guinness World Record for having the longest nails in history on a single hand, with a total length of 909.6 centimeters. Having such long nails has been rewarding for him because of all the recognition he gets, but it's also brought him a lot of negative consequences because of the weight and length of the nails. For example, he has a permanent disability of his left hand, and a lot of pain in his fingers, wrists, elbow and shoulder. But in July 2018, after 66 years without cutting his nails, he decided it was time to do it. They couldn't cut them with traditional nail clippers, so they had to use power tools. Now his nails are displayed in two different locations. Three of them are at Ripley's Believe It or Not in New York, and the other two are at Ripley's Believe It or Not in Amsterdam.